What's going on in Winterville, North Carolina in November 2022? But first, let's hit it! Hi, it's Alan Victoria. Welcome to our channel and podcast. And if this is your first time in our podcast and YouTube channel, make sure that you subscribe and get notified. Honestly, you get calls and texts all the time at 252-327-3357. So I can't wait to talk to you. Okay, so let's talk about the numbers. And the reason we look at these numbers every single month and we share them with you is because we are saying, okay, what is going on with the market um, in our local level? Because you can watch the news and you can say, hey, this is happening in California, but that doesn't mean it's happening here in Greenville, North Carolina. So in the Winterville area. So anyway, in Winterville, North Carolina, or in our any area in our local area. So what the, we like to break down these numbers and really look at Winterville and say, hey, what really is happening in our neck of the woods? So we understand what's happening right here, right now. And so that's why we do these videos for you. Is this a buyer's market? Is it a seller's market? What's going on? Is it a good time to sell? Is it a good time to buy? And we look at statistics. And that is what we do, no? Anything yes. Else and have? without any further ado, we're going to start from because what is the real estate is basically is demand and supply. No? Mm -hmm. That is how the driving beside the other factors like interest rate. And we wanted to start with the inventory in our uh, Winterville, North Carolina. Okay. Can you enlighten us? Well, we should say that there for new construction, first and foremost, there was five new homes, and this is actually decreasing of negative 16.7%. There was less new homes that hit the market here in Winterville. And the overall supply right now in Winterville, if you look at it on a macro level, is 1.1 month. This is an increase of 10%, but it is still far, far below a full seller's market of six months supply. We have 1.1 month supply. So we do see supply has increased a little bit 10% but we do not see it crazy like in other places yes therefore we don't have a huge supply for right, and we don't have buyers and we have and, less new construction and less new construction but let's look at also the data in the past 30 Absolutely. days the October that we finished and we have the data the number of the homes that came to the market actually was 74 homes they come to the market no right and basically and 55 homes they went under the contract or they are pending and also how many homes they were sold um 54 54 sold last month therefore if you compare this number with the last year this time it was just 59 therefore here we uh, showing that 25.4 percent year on over year the new homes to the market, no? right. which is which is really good. And then if you're looking at the pending and sold homes, we definitely, the houses that were under contract, definitely they are lower. It How has, much they it are? It has decreased um, month over, for year over year for those pending homes. There's actually about 6%, 6.8% less. And for actual sold homes, it's down 20.6% of homes. Again, we have really no new construction here in Winterville. Um, I get, so there, there is some play in there, right there. Also, I want to point out the, what do you want to do? You want to do medium or you want to go to the, the sales price? Yes, actually what you were saying that people less uh, went under the contract. Right. No? Less, yeah. less, less houses sold. And if you contract. are also comparing to the previous month in September, you will see that is very small actually changes. No. Mm -hmm. In there was 83 active homes in Winterville in September, and there were 74 this last month in October. Therefore, if you're looking at it for the last year to this year, we definitely had increase of inventory. But if you compare it in months before in September, I we see. definitely decreased in the inventory around more than 10 percent, 11 point something percent. And this is uh, actually still we have short on the inventory, and then. The other factor that is really affecting the market also the average days on the market. No? Absolutely. This actually increased here in Winterville. It was 17 days on the market. Yes. Um, last, the month before that, September, it was 13 days on the market. So there's still an increase in month over month on how long houses are staying on the market. Last year at this time, they were seven. So there's a significant increase since last year. Yes. Um, 142 point 
143% really. Which is means for you as a home buyer, you have more room to breathe because you can make more, uh, not faster decision like before that but, you were taking. And even with home sellers, 17 days really isn't that long of a time. It's just going to make us rethink, but it's not that crazy long time either. It's not that far. And the other factor that actually dictate that is sellers or home buyers is something called absorption rate. Mm -hmm. And basically when the absorption rate increases means we are going more toward the seller's market. But the good news is the last 30 days actually the absorption decreased means that in September we had 1.49 and in October we have 1.28 percent therefore 1.28 which means that we are it got not a little going hotter. it got a little hotter it, it got cooler actually okay cooler sorry it got cooler and respect to the last year definitely got hotter respect to the last year therefore the days on market, inventory, and the absorption rate is now, that's what we revealed for you. For sellers, people care about these prices, right? So let's talk about the medium home price sold here exactly. in Winterville, North Carolina in October 2022. It was 362,775, which is an increase from the previous month, which was 350,000. And from last year, which was 275,190, a significant increase year over year. This is a 31, almost 32% increase. But or, that doesn't scare you because this is the median lease price. This right. is what the seller wishing for to sell their house, but doesn't mean that they sold it. And this is also price. looking at the shack or the, currently the house with big hole in it or the mansions. Like, so there's, you know, yes. I was looking at everything. So in your house is probably somewhere in between, right? So the medium sales price, which is a little different than that medium list price, in this month, October, in the previous month, October 2022, it was 281,000, which is an increase from the previous month of 274,990,000. Therefore, we went like a basically 6,000 more, more on the median. Which is, you know, good for sellers. And then from last year, the medium list, the medium sales price here in Winterville was 244,000. So there was yes. an increase from last year to this year of 15.61%. So if you're looking at your home value, it has increased. Yes, and if you're looking at, your, you, you said that also price per square feet? No, we did not do that. Yes. Also, we wanted to mention median price per square feet for all homes, including condos, townhomes, and single family in Winterville was 161. No? Right now, if you are in a house house and just a house and not looking at the anything else, the median price per square foot for this month was $162 a square foot, which is actually, you know, a little bit more. So price reductions last month were? uh well 15 price reduction we had which translate to which actually decreased from the decreased. previous month yeah and then sold to listed ratio the many house that respect to the the ratio to the listed one was 45.6 percent decrease means we go, we went under the contract less. Now let's talk really quickly about that rental market here in Winterville. The median price for all rentals in Winterville is fourteen hundred. This is a year over year change of two hundred and fifty dollars. So I mean, there is a significant change in in yes. rent this month, this year. This year, and definitely, therefore, we wanted to tell you what what you suggest for the home buyers and home seller. Oh, if you're a home buyer, now is a great time to think about actually, I know those interest rates are high and that's scaring you off, but what you're going to do is you're going to finance a lower amount, which is an amazing opportunity for you when it comes to if you're refinancing in the future, yeah. you're refinancing a lower month. So you're not looking at crazy over the top, like I have to bid over and bid over. A lot of times you can get things at list price or even slightly under or kind of make a deal somehow. There are deals that can be made. So if you're looking to buy a home, now's a great time. And sellers, if you're looking to buy a home, we are still not in a, in a, in a true buyer's market. There is not six months inventory. There's not an oversupply. Um, in fact, there's an undersupply. So if you are thinking now is the time to sell, it's a great opportunity as well because yes, it's gonna sit there a little bit longer, but if your house is awesome and everybody loves it anyway, people are gonna come for it. So that's why we always recommend, make sure your house is in awesome shape when we show it. Make sure you subscribe in our channel and see you in next podcast and video.